build a divider between the two pins in the goat shelter. We're going to use hog panel and I'm going to build two by four squares and sandwich it between those, uh, sandwich the hog panel between those two by fours. So this center post really isn't necessary. I've reinforced this enough that it's not going to sag at all. But we're going to divide the space in two, and this will be where we uh, attach the little uh, divider. And uh, we also need it to uh, support uh, and clasp the doors once we have the doors on. <laughs> put this racing plate on the back side where you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I used the Craig jig, the Craig jig to do pocket holes before I put this uh, 2 by 4 sandwich together. That way it's real easy to attach it into the uh, to the wood supports. A goat what are you doing up here yeah that's a cute bunny <laughs> this really is the dr. Frankenstein way of building a porch why are we putting a porch on our goat shelter for one, it'll look nice and it'll be nice for the goats, but also because of this weirdly sloping terrain, custom creating a deck, little front door, front porch deck that would be higher on this side and lower on this side to square up the bottom of the two 
front doors that we're going to have made a lot of sense as well. That way the doors will just be nice and square and even and it'll all just uh, work the way it's supposed to. Back here, this is about eight inches high. And right here, it's just, uh, you know, turned on its side. So it's a, it's, you know, inch and a half, whatever that is. This weird little uh, angle is just a practical solution. The uh, concrete that I had mounted around the uh, 4x4 posts when I put that in sloped and it made the, the, uh, the board here too high. So I just kind of cut around it and I also shaved a little bit off the bottom to kind of custom fit it in. This one is flat as well, but I mounted up quite a bit more gravel so that it would be even with this one. All of these other ones are cut at custom angles to match the terrain. I put them in place, put a big 2x4 across to make sure it's level, and then just do adjustments. I'd add more gravel in and stomp it down and shift it around and work it until it actually was secure and, and actually level. The lowest end piece there, I decided to put a cross member in just because it felt a little bit tipsy. I wouldn't want it to be jumped on and, and then like kind of want to twist the screws right out of the boards that are holding it in. I've got this one secured to the structure here itself with a mending plate. This one is pocket hold. A couple of these others are just screwed right into the 4x4 posts. And I've got a little L bracket on this one. So it's a little bit of everything. Hopefully it'll work. I'm charging my drills right now. In the meanwhile, I'll probably just cut the boards, the 2x4 plank boards that we're going to use for the decking itself. And I'll be back out here pretty soon. I had laid out all the boards ahead of time just to see how it would all look and it turned out that this little section here was off square by just about an eighth inch coming out this way. I had the, this extra scrap 2x4 so why not just wedge it in there just to nudge it the eighth inch and make it absolutely perfect for myself. Alright, here we go. do double French doors on the goat shelter. I've got them all laid out here, at least the 2x4 uh, back bracing pieces. The trim work is, is being primed 
and paint it at this point. And I'll put that on after I screw the panels down. Before I have to wait for the paint to dry on that though. is a little tricky they're they're pretty heavy I've got them clamped into place I put some uh, little spacer boards underneath to make sure the doors are up and level and high enough that it'll sweep when they're closing and op opening and closing and not run into the uh, the deck here but it's real hard to know for sure that it's perfect until I screw it in and close them and see what it's like. So hopefully I've, uh, I've made a real good guess.
close. position here on this side again using a spacer to keep the, the doors parallel and I've clamped the hinges in place so it should work out pretty well Procedure, other side. So I'm going to secure this 2x4 that I trimmed down to be the same level as the uh, doors once they're closed in the door trim. This will give me a, a spot for the latches to uh, attach to. So I can keep the uh, the doors closed and and secure for the goats. Again, like a lot of this particular project, I'm using a lot of pocket holes for the uh, for the screws to go in accurately. Here's the final configuration of our door latches. We will be uploading a video soon to properly introduce our two new bucklings. Well, it was a lot of work, but this new goat area is finally ready. Let's take a quick look around the pen. This buckling area has been a lot of work. Finishing it in time, I think, deserves a little celebratory dance. Just in case anybody's curious about my hat, I'm not wearing it to look cool. It has a little Bluetooth thing in it that lets me listen to music. If I wanted to look cool, I don't think I'd be dancing. Before we get to the dancing, Let's do a quick update on the bird's nest that was built right on top of our ladder up here. At least one of the birds has hatched. Let's go up and take a look.
I'm not sure you can call it cute at that scrawny little stage, but uh, new life. <laughs>